it's Justine here from Play School. There's a bear in there and a chair as well. You know that one. I'm talking to you now because I'm an ambassador for the Indigenous Literacy Foundation and your teacher has signed you up for Busking for Change. So give them a round of applause. That's it. Do you know what busking is? Busking is when you perform in a public place and people passing give you the change in their pockets to show their appreciation. Now, words, like a lot of words in English, can have two meanings. So the word change can mean two different things. It means the coins in your pocket, but change also means to make something different. And in the ILF's case, change something for the better. And that something is Indigenous literacy. Okay. Now, what does literacy mean? Literacy means words and reading and communication. It means learning to understand, speak and read in your first language, which helps children to learn a second language, such as English, more easily. Literacy contributes to identity, culture, community and country and continues the strength and survival of sacred languages. Literacy is seeing, it's feeling, it's listening, it's speaking, it's reading, it's writing, it's digital literacy, it's sign language, it's signs, it's painting, it's dance, and of course, it's singing. Singing is literacy, and you know I love to sing. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to learn a song and we're going to change the world by raising money for the ILF who publish books for remote communities in their first languages so we don't lose the stories and the culture that makes us who we are. Huh. Gee, that's a lot of words. Let's learn the song. This song is called Shorty Creek and it's written by kids, the school kids from Barunga School, way up in the Northern Territory. They're so clever. They wrote a poem in their classroom with their teacher, Charlotte Jackson, and I helped them make it into a song. Now, Shorty Creek is the local watering hole near the school. And the kids from Barunga School call it Shorty Creek after an older boy called Shorty, whose real name is actually Shenton. But when he was really little, he was at the creek and it was high. And Shenton, or Shorty, went for a swim and he nearly drowned. And that's why the other kids call it Shorty Creek. But don't worry, Shorty is fine. He grew up and he's a very fine fo footballer, actually. And now the kids from Barunga School play and swim and fish there all the time and it's really safe. Okay, enough talking. Let's sing. All right. It goes like this. We see tall trees and there's a lovely breeze at Shorty Creek. Life is sweet. Can you sing that? Here we go. We see tall trees and there's a lovely breeze at Shorty Creek. Life is sweet. That's great. Okay, so the kids from Barunga speak three or sometimes four languages before they speak English. And the common language they speak at school is Creole. Now, are you feeling ready for a challenge? Because you could try learning this song in Creole. Why don't we give it a try? Come on, I'll help you. So, we see tall trees and there's a lovely breeze would be, we look big one, long one tree and probably good one breeze. And Shorty Creek, la Shorty Creek, life is sweet would be, life is sweet. Keep going. Okay, so now you've tried it in Creole, what about another challenge? Why not add some dance moves? How about this for an idea? We see tall trees and there's a lovely breeze at Shorty Creek. Life is sweet. You can make up your own moves. Are there any ukulele or guitar players out there? Put your hand up to learn the song. The chords are easy. Here, I'll show you. It's a C. We see tall trees and then a D minor. And there's a lovely breeze. And then an F at Shorty Creek. 
Life is sweet. Okay, I've given you some ideas to get learning so you can change the world with me by dancing and singing. And remember, every time you sing Shorty Creek, you're not only raising money for the ILF, but you're raising awareness for all the work that the ILF do. And you're an ambassador, just like me. So get going, learn a song, change the world.